Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Ops Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 98. Moving portals between environments using the Configuration Migration Tool. Implementing proper application lifecycle management with Power Apps Portals can be tricky, because most of the work that is done in setting up your portal is captured as data in Dataverse, as opposed to solution-aware configuration. This means that, in addition to traditional ALM processes to move solutions between environments, with Power Apps Portals, you also need to figure out how you're going to move the rows you've created in the portals tables. Further complicating matters is the fact that Power Apps Portals configuration is very cyclical. For example, web pages are related to entity forms, which are related back to web pages. You've got a few options for moving this data. You can always build your own code using the Dataverse SDK. There is also a great tool in the XRM toolbox called the Portal Records Mover that can help you out. However, since Microsoft released an important update for the Configuration Migration Tool in December 2019, it has been my go-to technology for moving data between Dataverse environments. This important update was the ability to use Fetch XML to filter which rows you wanted to export. Microsoft provides the Configuration Migration Tool to move Dataverse rows between environments. This tool can be downloaded from NuGet as part of the Microsoft.CRMSDK.CoreTools package. The tool itself offers three main capabilities. The ability to define a schema that determines which tables, columns, relationships, and rows are included as part of the migration. The ability to use that schema to export rows to a zip file from a specific Dataverse environment, and the ability to import the records from a zip file into a Dataverse environment. Using the Configuration Migration Tool is Microsoft's official solution for Portal's ALM. They provide schema files for each of the Portal templates that you can use to move your work. In subsequent tips, I'll go through each of these steps in more detail. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 98 on moving portals between environments using the Configuration Migration Tool useful.